Hi, I'm Nikki, a software engineering hopeful based in Seattle, Washington in the United States. CS50 is the first computer science slash coding class that I've ever taken. And this video is to showcase my final project aptly called Smart Mirror. It is a web app that I've written in Python, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This project was really difficult because it was challenging, not just in having to code everything from scratch, back end, front end, but as well as having to connect everything through hardware to create a final project that was not just unique, but also really functional to what I needed it to be. So let me show you a brief overview of my code structure so that we can kind of go over all the different parts of my project. So we're now in VS Code. I put all of my Python code inside of app.py where everything is linked together using different routes. Those routes also link to different HTML pages that of course have my HTML code and JavaScript code all styled with corresponding CSS. So you'll find my HTML in my templates folder, and then all of my CSS code, as well as the fonts that I want to use in my static folder. The widgets are all organized in a main file called display. So this has each widget inside of its own iframe, and all of those linked to those corresponding HTML pages. I decided to code it this way so that it would be easier to modify the widgets all independently from each other. So here's what the actual page will look like. The information that I wanted to display on here include a calendar that highlights today's date, a time widget that displays two different time zones at the same time, a weather widget with specific information that I wanted displayed on there, as well as my schedule for today and a subreddit of my choosing. Um, right here in the center and at the bottom, there's also a complement that gets randomized each day. You know, there are ways to change this. So in the settings page right here, this is what it's going to look like. All of these can be modified. So if I go into edit settings, you can see here, you can choose the two time zones that get displayed. You can also change the zip code for the weather if you want to see the weather from somewhere else. This is where you type in the subreddit that you want to see on the page. And then down here, I have five complement slots that you can modify based on the random complement that you get that day. You can either down here choose to randomize it again, or you can just pick the one that you want to see on your smart mirror that day. All of the information for, for example, like time, weather, for my schedule today and for the subreddit, all of those are retrieved using different APIs. So it's all, it's all in here. Okay, so here is the final result. It's hosted on a Raspberry Pi. It's mounted in a wooden frame and there's also a two-way mirror in front of a monitor to kind of give you that mirror effect, but also display the information. In the future, I would love to be able to add a separate console to be able to modify the settings easier or also, you know, add more functionality. But for now, I'm really happy with like my very first coding project. To end this video, I just wanted to quickly thank the team behind CS50, especially Professor Milan for all the hard work that you do. Taking this course has really inspired me and has pushed me to really want to continue learning to code and to eventually become a software engineer. I really encourage others to take it as well if you're even a little bit interested in coding. I would also like to give an honorable mention to my very own rubber duck debugger who has helped me through many coding errors <laughs> he's my friend and he would also like to thank all of you guys for watching this video and spending some time with me today thank you